This student suffered a broken jaw and fractured bones in his head. A Liberty mom says her son really is forced to be alive after being attacked at school. And here is a picture of 12 year old Blake Kitchen during happier times. Only on KMBC 9, his parents say they warned the Liberty School District about the bullying nearly a month ago, but not enough was done. KMBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live in Liberty. Well, guys, we had a chance to talk with Blake Kitchen, that sixth grader, tonight, about an hour after he was discharged from the hospital. He has been there since he was attacked here early Thursday morning. His family says they've documented a pattern of alleged abuse by this bully, even sending a certified letter to the district last month. Tonight, Liberty Police confirm an investigation is ongoing. I'm glad he's alive because he could have not made it. And it's maddening. His eyes sensitive to the light. 12 year old Blake Kitchen finally home after five days in the hospital. I thought I was going to die. Kitchen, a sixth grader at Liberty Middle School, says he was attacked by an eighth grader here last Thursday morning. It felt like my, all my bones in my body were broken. Kitchen was rushed to the hospital. His family says he was bleeding from his ear, his jaw, and parts of his skull fractured. Saying, I don't want to die, mommy, please. And watching him throw up every time he moved his head, the blood coming out of his ears, them not knowing um, the spinal fluid coming out. For months, the Kitchen family worried about bullying at Liberty Middle. The family finally sending this certified letter to the district on January 26th. We have hard and instances of bullying which seem to be escalating. They now say their concerns weren't adequately addressed and their son is paying the price. It's a nightmare. It's, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have been this terror. It really is. I'm terrified to send him back to school. Now, police confirm a, an assault report was filed here on Thursday morning. Can only say that investigation is still open. Meanwhile, the Kitchen family will meet with doctors this Friday to determine if surgery will be needed to restore hearing in Blake's ear. Live in Liberty, Eli Rosenberg, KMBC 9 News. Now, this evening, Liberty School sent us this say, statement saying, in part, the incident that occurred between the two students is currently being reviewed and that the incident has been turned over to police.